Hey, what's going on? It's Gary Wilson here. And a couple of weeks ago, I started a new business in property deal sourcing. And I've had some pretty decent success as that business started, generating over £10,000 worth of deals um, from around £1,000 in ad spend. Um, if you don't know already, I'm out here in Thailand. Let me show you the focus is. But yeah, I'm out here in Thailand at the moment. I'm out here on a detox retreat. So if I'm talking a bit slower, I'm a bit more tired. I do apologize, I'm detoxing at the moment, so not 100%. So for those of you that don't know already, I do a bit of property investing outside of my SEO business. And recently, what I did is I joined this group called Paul McFadden Wealth, um, PMW. And inside the group, I showcased some of the results I actually got. So I started a deal sourcing business a couple of weeks ago and generated a very large amount of leads. And this video is really for people who are also doing deal sourcing and are also trying to generate leads and I'm going to showcase some of the strategies that I've used to get an advantage um, on the lead generation side. So the main reason I'm creating this video is because I created this post inside the group and there was tons and tons and tons of people that messaged me that were also deal sourcing and they were asking how I did my marketing, what tips I could give them. Um, so I thought better just to put everything in one video and just explain exactly what I've been up to and what I've been doing. Um, and hopefully, um, if you're seeing this and you do get deals from it, please think of me as one of the first guys because um, I'm obviously doing deal sourcing for myself, but the main reason I started and got into this was to work on a business with my mum and also to generate my own leads. So um, if you do have a lead generation going on yourself and you have some good deals that you don't want yourself, then speak to me. I'm really, really interested in buying properties for myself in the UK. Oh, and by the way, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on this channel about property as well as my SEO content. So please make sure you do that. Okay, so diving in. In this video, I'm going to talk about two specific things which are incredibly important to understand if you want to run any kind of online advertising for deal sourcing or property deal sourcing online. The first thing I'm going to talk about is how ad platforms actually work um, and how the AI works because a lot of people don't really get this part. Um, and it's important to really lead on to the main part that I think you need to focus on um, when you're actually running ads for property deal sourcing, which is the final thing I'm gonna talk about at the end of this video. So I'm gonna briefly explain how ad platforms work. So basically, when you're buying media, which is what ad buying is, so if you're on Facebook ads, this is gonna be a prime example for exactly how Facebook ads works, okay? All you're doing is you're coming onto Facebook and you're targeting what's called an audience of people, okay? And what you're doing is you're creating a creative or a creative piece of content, okay? Um, or like an ad, you know, that's your post that you put on Facebook. And that ad is going to be shown to people inside the audience that you choose, okay? Now, a lot of people um, get really, really caught up in picking the right audience to show their ads and don't really take much responsibility for the ads themselves, okay? Now, here's exactly how it works when you target an audience. If we imagine an audience as a, as a, as a chart here, and let's say we pick the audience, I don't know, property, right? And property in the UK has a million people inside of it, okay? So what we do is we have an ad, we come to Facebook and we tell Facebook, hey, run, run this ad into the property audience inside the UK. Facebook has a couple of stages of doing that. The first stage is they have what's called like a testing phase, okay? And I'll just write T for testing, okay? And what they essentially do in this testing phase is they randomly show the ad to a bunch of people in the audience. Um, and from that, they try and work out some people who will respond to the ad and fill out a lead form and get in touch with you, okay? And then from the testing, they essentially try and find more people in that property audience that match the kind of people that responded to your ad, okay? And that's how the AI essentially works. It tests out random people, finds people who respond to your ad and then shows it to more people like that. Now, what people don't really realize is that when they chuck an ad into an audience and the ad doesn't work, they, they tend to blame Facebook or they blame the platform. And 99% of the time, it's their own fault. The ad sucks. People don't respond to it. It doesn't talk to people in the right way. And we're gonna talk about more about this in a second, about what ads actually do work for property deal sourcing. Um, but most people come in and they blame the platform for not showing it to the right people or giving us the wrong people. Or people are commenting my ad saying that the service is crap, you know, and that I'm a scammer. Well, what does that say about the messaging and the content that you just put out there? So when I spoke to a bunch of other deal sourcers, um, 
this was the same issue that was coming up is essentially I felt that a lot of people just had really, really bad ads and ads are so, so, so important um, for getting things to work. And I'll explain why just now. So imagine I put out an ad right now for, I don't know, um, I'm going to give you a million pounds for free, okay? Well, what is Facebook going to do when I put that ad out? It's going to, again, I pick an audience of people. It's going to test that audience of people out. Yay, test, test, test. And then it's going to find people who would respond to, I'm going to give you a million pounds for free, okay? Now, okay, Gary, what's your point here? Well, essentially, you need to think about who are the type of people that are going to want a million pounds for free or click on an ad like that. It's going to probably be people... I don't know, with lower income, that are desperate, that believe that perhaps online you could get a million pounds for free. I don't think you're going to get big institutional investors clicking on that ad, A, because they probably don't need a million pounds for free. They might like it, but most of all, they don't believe they're going to get a million pounds for free. And probably the type of people that are going to click on that ad are going to be a bit stupid. So essentially in the testing phase, Facebook's going to find a bunch of stupid people, okay, that respond to the ad, and then it's going to push through and then it's going to find more stupid people. It's not going to find high institutional investors like you might be looking for. So put quite simply, if your ad itself doesn't target and pick out the right people, and those kind of right people don't respond to the ad fairly quickly within a few days or a few leads cost worth of testing, then it essentially means that there's an issue with the ad and it's probably not going to change and start randomly working because Facebook has tested out to enough people and it's found out that, hey, this ad doesn't pick out the right people. People aren't randomly responding to it that are suitable for you. So what you should do is test new ads, test new creatives. And the reason why creatives are so powerful is because all we're doing when we're doing property deal sourcing on ads is we're casting a net, okay? And in that net, what we're trying to do is we're getting an audience and we're trying to pull out 100,000 people within a 1 million people audience, okay? who are semi-interested in selling their home or potentially interested to put their home in the market. We're trying to cast that net, okay? And inside that net are the little gold nuggets, okay, of the sand that we've taken out. And the little gold nuggets are the people who are trying to sell their home quickly, okay? Now, if you cast the wrong net into the wrong part of the audience through a bad ad, it means that no matter who comes through to your landing page or your website, they're all going to be crap because you're just pulling a net of people that doesn't have any gold in it. There's no gold in that net. So what you really need to get good at with ads is focusing on the ad itself. And nine times out of 10, if the ad itself is really, really, really good and it targets the right people, then just getting those people on your website, a lot of them will fill out basic lead forms, even if the website copy isn't that good, right? The website copy does matter a lot as well, but the ad itself is what pulls in the initial group of people. And that's the bit you really need to focus on. And this is the thing that most people were really, really getting wrong when I spoke to them and looked at their ads, is their ads sucked. And here's why they sucked. So the main skill that we need to focus on here is copywriting. And copywriting is pretty much the core of what makes Facebook ads actually work, okay? Now, most people, what they were doing is they're running ads like um, sell your house fast, okay? Um, or there was one guy I spoke to who had, um, we buy houses, um, let us sell your home, right? This was the kind of like messaging that he was putting out in his ad. Now, most people, when they run ads, they think, oh, this, I'm selling, I'm trying to buy people's houses or we're buying houses or, you know, let us sell your home. That's what I do. So that's what I'm going to put an ad out for. And the truth is that's not the right messaging to put out on an ad with a big picture of a house because it's not the thing that people want. It's not the desire that people actually want. So this book here explains things a lot better than probably how to explain it here. It's one of my favorite books. I've actually bought it for myself and more members of staff as well. And um, I recommend you check it out. It's called the 16 Word Sales Letter. But essentially what I'm getting at here is that messaging like sell your home or sell your home with us isn't actually going to attract the best people in the world because sell your house fast and somebody who needs to sell their house fast is a very, very, very specific thing, okay? And when Facebook randomly throws that ad out, okay, into the open market, it becomes really, really difficult for them to actually find more people for something as specific, specifically time-focused as that, okay? That's why running Google ads for keywords like sell your house fast is gonna be better than doing that kind of messaging on Facebook. And the reason it's work on Facebook is because it really struggles to find people 
in that situation on an AI level. So what you really need to do is actually find the reasons why somebody wants to sell their house fast and make ads that talk about those reasons, okay? Now you'll know this, if you've been doing any property deal sourcing yourself, you'll know that there are specific things like, for example, um, financial difficulties or separation. So a better ad might be, have you recently um, split up with your partner and you have a messy house situation? Um, let us sell your house fast and get what you deserve or something like that, right? That's very basic and crappy messaging, but you get what I'm saying. Essentially, I'm not targeting what exactly what I'm selling. I'm targeting the pain points and the situations of the people who are actually looking to sell their home. And targeting this stuff this way just works so incredibly well. I'm gonna dive into my Facebook Ads Manager. Today, I'd be, I've got five website leads. We're not even spending much, like I'm working on my back end of the business right now, so I'm not scaling this up too much. But today, we've had six pounds 42 per lead so far. Uh, yesterday, uh, let's have a load, load, load. Yesterday, we got six leads at 16 pounds of leads in that particular ad set, got them at six pounds 74. And if I just pull up the whole lifetime of this entire Facebook ad campaign, you'll see that I've had 92 leads um, at 16 pounds per lead on average. And if I actually show you what's happened with these leads, um, you can see right here that um, we've got four potential conversions right now. Um, we have 17 people um, kind of following up and in the pipeline, I've, say I've only been doing this a couple of weeks. So a lot of these, a lot of these people in this follow-up section will actually turn into deals most likely. And we've already sent 10 deals that are currently sitting with agents, two haven't gone through, two are definitely going through and we're waiting on eight at the moment as well. And there's a lot of deals potentially going to investors. There's one that I'm even looking at taking for myself. And this was all from 15, 1400 pounds in ad spend which is absolutely remarkable if you think about the amount I'll probably get back from this, it'll probably be over 10 grand in commissions or it'll be from you know deals sold to investors. So what I really wanna give the kind of final piece of advice on is to tell you to start focusing on pain points and actually be more responsible for the ad content that you're putting out there, okay? You need to get a wee bit creative with marketing and start to think outside the box. Everyone in their granny who does property deal sourcing is running ads with the copy of sell house fast with a picture of a house or a picture of a bungalow. Nobody cares, nobody's scrolling down their feed, okay? That's in crippling debt and anxiety with that debt gives a crap about a house. They care about their debt. That's the reason why they sell their house. It's the same as if somebody's selling their house due to a breakup, right? You must fish all this stuff in the phone, but if they're, if they're having a breakup, that's why they're selling. They're not selling because they wanna sell the house. The house isn't the most important part of the equation. The house is just the solution and the way they feel that they can solve the problem that they're in. So really on Facebook, what you wanna really, really get good at is focusing on the pain points and that's where the magic is done. That's where you cast nets that grab the right amount of people and ultimately that's where you'll get the most golden nuggets.